So I just got home, I wanted to start working on my Sharon video and the little short I promised in the post, but they just released a brand new trailer for season one, and it's titled Invasion, which I suppose is kind of a cool name. But what I decided to do was actually screen record the whole thing so we can break it down frame by frame. Now usually I don't do React content, so uh, I don't know how well it's going to go, but we'll give it a try because you won't believe how many secrets game companies actually hide in these 15 second trailers. So we start off obviously with just looking at Amon. This update might be all about Amon, which is quite cool because obviously, uh, spoiler alert for those who haven't finished the game yet, we haven't actually got the chance to fight him yet. So he's a quite cool character. By the end of it, he's obviously more interested in the Iron Hearts than he is Corel uh, than helping Corel. Uh, so it looks like it could be all about Amon. We get a little awakening title scene. It shows us some new zones, some potentially new monsters. And this actually reminds me of a specific mission in White Gulch. Uh, I can sort of zoom in. It really does remind me of when you find a sort of abomination. And you're in this huge ring, just like this. Um, and i got to say, I absolutely hate that mission. <laughs> I really struggled on it. It was very, very hard. It's one of the hardest missions in the game, in my opinion. In fact, I think after it seemed much, much easier. This is where I really started struggling the game and, and couldn't solo anymore. I do not want to see more of White Gulch areas, or areas like White Gulch, so please do that. You know, obviously I'm always happy to see new zones, new missions, that sort of stuff. Uh, new drops, because obviously we do have to talk about a new Descendant. But not just one. There is a second one teased in this trailer. So we also now get a sort of cool look at a sort of villain here. Uh, new threats. And honestly, that reminds me, I think, of, like, Corpus from, from Warframe. Obviously, this game is heavily inspired by Warframe. Anyone who's played Warframe or even knows what Warframe will be aware that, yes, this game very much is inspired by Warframe. Not a bad thing. Warframe is one of my favourite games of all time. Uh, on my newest account, I think I've got about 800-odd hours uh, across all accounts. Yeah, maybe 2,000, 1,500, something like that. I love Warframe. Uh, and I've always wanted to cover it. I just don't really know how to start because it's such a big game at this point. So that's why first Descendant is kind of perfect. So I'm getting like a Corpus vibe off of this character. Uh, that's that's kind of cool. Uh, and if obviously it's it's saying about new threats, it would be cool to maybe see something other than the Volgus, for example. There you go, a little meme I made for my first video on the game. Wait, it's all Volgus, always has been, because I'm pretty damn sure every enemy type in the game is some sort of Volgus. So that that was the, the joke there. Yeah, I just wanted another excuse to use this meme, even though it actually might not be dead since it's no longer all Volgus, which is quite cool. So continuing on here, we obviously get, I am, this is probably going to be a bit extreme going through every scene, but like I said, they hide so many things you won't realise it. Now here I don't think there's anything new, I think this is Kyle and Luna. And then the next scene is finally a sort of first look at our brand new Ice Descendant. Uh, we saw the sort of silhouette teaser not too long ago, where she was holding either what looked like a gigantic sniper rifle, or a huge uh, rocket launcher. I now think it's neither of those sort of weapons. And you'll see later in this little video why that's the case. So, carrying on, the next scene is BOOM! This has got to be Ultimate Freyna. Like, th this is clearly poison. We've got a sort of gold trim and aesthetic that the, the Ultimates have. We've got an almost like Egyptian style, I think they all sort of have. Uh, so I'm pretty... I mean, even the... Eh, actually, the hair, honestly, looks more like Sharon. So if we look at Sharon... Eh, uh, no, not really, not really. But, you know, if we look at Freyna, it's not really the same aesthetic. But what, what about the other Ultimates? Do they sort of share the same hair? That hair is sort of the same again, right? So, yeah, the hairstyle is the same on that. What about the bunnies? So, bunny's hair kind of looks like that. And then bunny, obviously... Well, actually, no, bunny's hair is like that. So, the hair is actually more like bunnies. So, it's just a hairstyle. It doesn't really mean much. But, you know, you never know. Maybe it's it's a... Not what we think it is, just because it's bright green and does look like sort of poison, maybe it's not Freyna. What if it's actually Sharon or something? It's either Freyna or Sharon for sure. We've got another, you know, sort of white background, who's clearly with Kyle, Luna, SMO. And then who's this? Is it someone's secret? Is it anything like that? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's Glay. Uh, and you'll see why in a scene later on that I'm very confident it's Glay. And in fact, it's this exact scene here. You can see this this pistol uh, here, you know, is Kyle again, and then it's it's looks like it's carry on of that scene basically. Uh, and here we've got obviously what looks like I'm guessing is um, is it called Massacre? I haven't got Glay yet either. I'm working on Glay. I, I just it's like in my mind it's like well Ultimate Glay exists. I kind of just want to farm for Ultimate Glay, you know. And I've got one of the pieces done. Um, I know one of four, but you know, yeah, so I th I think that's probably Glay. So I don't think there's anything new there, unfortunately. This might be a new zone. Obviously, it's very hard to tell. 
I mean, it could be like a new zone or even teasing as even a new difficulty coming. You know, what if this is just... Well, I don't think it's Kingston, but it looks like it's the same sort of colour scheme that Kingston has. Um, but, you know, what, what if this is actually just a third difficulty to add into the game? And th that actually might be a new mob. You know, I've never really paid a huge amount of attention to what the mobs all specifically look like. And in fact, I'm not 100% sure if the this type of mob usually has a face mask on. So, you know, for all I know is that's actually a new type of mob as well. And yeah, this is really hinting at actually there's a third difficulty coming. And the mobs look slightly different. Uh, I don't know if that's like a new Kyle skin or anything. But speaking of new skins, I do think this is a new Bunny skin. Uh, I'm very confident this is Bunny. It just looks like Bunny. We've got the lightning. We've got these little charges, which, you know, Bunny obviously has. So... I'm 99% sure that's Bunny. I've looked through his skins, and I don't think, you know, there's any, especially if you painted them in a specific, specific way, I don't think this is like any of them. It's kind of got like a camo pattern. I know other heroes do have a camo pattern skin, so it could be trying to say that you're going to be getting uh, a broader variety across all characters, like skins that sort of match each other, or at least follow like a style. And then uh, that's just aiming again. Doing some sort of blood ritual or something. Maybe he's still got some iron heart and he's doing some experiments with it. I don't know. Honestly, I paid no attention to the story. Uh, which is awful, but, you know, I just wanted to get to end game. As a content creator, you kind of sometimes feel forced to just rush to the end game and try upload content you think people are going to want to watch. And yes, this is why I think that actually that gun this descendant is holding. Because I'm going to guess this is the same descendant as the new one. Just... Obviously, you can put different faces and heads and stuff on your characters. Uh, is actually something like a giant rail gun or something. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that's the same because it's obviously got a huge scope on it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to assume that's what it is. It's a massive rail gun and it shoots like a giant beam, basically. You know, a huge, huge, huge beam. Which, look, I'm going to just say it looks cool as hell. And. You know, it looks obviously something new, something fun. A new Frost character, because we've only got Viesa and... What's well, awesome, my Viesa was saying? I've only got one poison. But, you know, I think, like, a huge ultimate like this, I feel like in terms of, like, actual use, it's going to be extremely underwhelming. It might do, like, huge, huge damage, but if it's, like, pinpoint, you know, sure, it's going to pierce and go through, but if it's, like, a really small area you're talking about, you know, maybe it'd be great for bossing. But in terms of mobbing, hopefully the rest of the kit's good for that. And in terms of bossing, you know, if it doesn't do like a huge nuke of damage or on a short cooldown, I just, I don't know if that's going to be that exciting and powerful. I, I don't know. Um, I think it'll be uh, slightly quite underwhelming. And yet, end the screen, the first Ascendant. A game, honestly, I'm loving so much. I'm up to 150 hours now. And here we go. Season 1, Invasion, August the 29th. So that was in 13 days, just less than 2 weeks. And uh, there you go, another look at her weapon that we saw. Obviously, this is just a silhouette. Mirrored? I think it might be mirrored. I can't remember. Uh, so, yeah, it, it looks like some sort of railgun, which honestly is super cool. I really, really like that. But again, you know, if it's just a big beam... Might be slightly underwhelming. and I mean, that's not guaranteed to be the same weapon, you know? It's really, really hard to tell because of this giant scope. Obviously, this is opening up, so that's not what I'm focusing on. It's this scope. That scope is not there, but is there some sort of, like, rail mounting for it? Possibly, because this could pop up, you know? You never know how things animate. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain this is Ultimate Freyna. But that's really, really cool. I want to build Freyna anyway. It just means now I, just, I probably won't spend time forming her. And I'll wait for Ultimate Freyna. So that is super, super cool. Uh, I'm going to probably grab a screenshot of that. And that's going to be the uh, the old thumbnail. Cool. So, yeah, that's just a, a quick breakdown. I don't really do React content. Uh, I'm trying to focus on build guides and, and farming guides and stuff like that. So if you're interested, please check out my other videos. It would be uh, it really mean a lot to me. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye.